virtual reality via object poses and active learning. Realizing telepresence robots with aerial manipulation capabilities. An aerial manipulation system is composed of robotic arms and a controlled aerial platform. The platform enables coarse positioning, while the manipulator enables dexterous grasping and manipulation for complex tasks. Hence, these aerial platforms extend the mobility of robotic manipulators, which can be deployed at high altitudes from ground, increasing safety for human workers, while reducing costs. In this work, we present a bilateral, teleoperation system, for advancing aerial manipulation in dynamic and unstructured environments. The proposed system features, not only a haptic device for the sense of touch, but also a VR interface, to increase the sense of vision for the human operator. While the live video streams can also provide certain level of situation awareness to the human operator, with the VR, the human operator can change the side of view, zoom in and zoom out, and also provide multiple viewpoints simultaneously. Shared autonomous control via virtual fixtures, is another crucial feature, where the autonomous system assists the human operator, to achieve the complex, aerial manipulation tasks. Lastly, the VR provides 3D visual feedback, as opposed to 2D visual feedback from the live video streams, and enables remote monitoring of robot states, like configuration of the robotic arm. Both the height information, and the robot's own states, are not visible from the live video streams. To realize the creation of VR for real-world applications, we need to fully rely on onboard sensors and computations. This means, we cannot rely on external motion tracking sensors, or any pre-generated maps for VR creation. For this purpose, the robot is equipped with a LiDAR visual inertial sensors. Moreover, we devise robotic perception and active learning pipelines in order to address real-world challenges of creating the real-time VR, which can closely match the real workspace of the robot, for VR creation in real-time, our approach infers the scene graph with flat hierarchy, as shown here. If we assume, that the internally, fixed transformations are known, for example, via extrinsic calibration, and forward kinematics, the problem of VR creation simplifies to obtaining the 60 poses of the objects, and the relevant external scenes. This means, that we can display the objects in a VR environment, if we can localize them, with respect to a robot's coordinate frame. First, in order to virtually display industrial objects, with known geometry, we provide a simple extension of a marker tracking algorithm with onboard SLAM. With the proposed extension, we can handle loss of sight of markers as shown here. Second, if the objects of interests are geometrically unknown, we devise a LiDAR-based pose estimation pipeline that combines LiDAR SLAM, local object pose estimator using a point cloud registration algorithm, and a deep neural network-based object detector. Importantly, an object detector is used to create a CAD model online, and also to rule out moving parts, in order to perform dynamic SLAM. Finally, we present a pool-based active learning pipeline, which uses a probabilistic algorithm to generate the most informative samples for a deep neural network to learn from. This increases the sample efficiency of deploying learning-based algorithms in outdoor environments, that is, we can achieve similar performance with only 25% of the entire training samples in this scenario as shown here. An efficient method to collect real, and annotated training images, can be crucial, if we aim for long-term deployment of learning-based systems. In the paper, we report such real-world challenges, and describe in detail how the proposed pipelines, can mitigate these challenges in realizing the proposed VR system, for industrial application scenarios. With the DLR's SAM platform, we perform extensive outdoor experiments within the designed industrial scenario, which considers SAM platform executing peg and hole tasks, with a margin of error less than 2.5 mm, and pick and place tasks. By executing over 70 experiments of the aforementioned tasks, including a user validation study, we attempt to characterize the performance of the resulting VR system, in advancing aerial manipulation over an extended duration. The most interesting experiment was the flights at night, where we found that the developed VR system can also operate without any direct sunlight. This functionality of being able to perform manipulation tasks, at night in outdoor environments, can be important to increase the range of operation hours, including emergency services for several industrial use cases of aerial manipulators. There are still many remaining challenges, towards real industrial use cases of aerial manipulators. 
yet, these real-world demonstrations, show viability of the proposed teleoperation concept, for future industrial applications of aerial manipulation technology.